In this video, I'll be doing a review of Lubuntu 1404. Now, I know when I reviewed Ubuntu 1404, I said it was barely a step forward from the previous long-term support release of 1204. And yeah, because in some ways it was a step backwards, with only a few new features added. Now, should I be saying the same for Lubuntu 1404? Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, maybe it's double standards here. But no, Lubuntu has always been the lightweight, more basic desktop of all the Ubuntu flavours. And it's never had to strive itself to really improve because it, it is what it is. It's a basic desktop. Now, as far as new features go for this release, because there have been a couple, it's now a three-year supported long-term support release because back in 2012, it was not a long-term supported release. It was only was it 18 months back then. Anyway, yeah, you got the improved support time here. And there's been some improvements to the PCMan FM file manager. It works a lot better now over network files and file shares. There's also been some improvements as well on the artwork. Let's take more of a look at it. Starting with the layout of the desktop, we've got Launcher here on the bottom left hand side. We've got a couple of shortcuts here to PCMan FM and web browser. The web browser in this case is Firefox, which has just been upgraded to version 29. So you've got the nice fancy curved tabs. Continuing along, you've got a desktop selector. So you've got two different desktops. You can put different applications in each one. Volume control, the keyboard preferences, and that's shown in the wrong language because as I've got it there is English UK and it doesn't change. It's been doing that though for over a year. Anyway, got the time and calendar and the shutdown menu on the far right hand side. And that's it really for your desktop. You can put icons on it and you can also show documents, show the trash can, show any mounted network connections. But yeah, I prefer a clean desktop, so that's how I have mine. As I mentioned, one of the improvements in this release is with PC Man FM. With using it over the network, it's now a whole lot more responsive and actually seems to work when you're trying to copy and paste files across from SMB shares or SSH shares. Well, that's all I've tested. I'm sure it works nicely on other network shares as well. But it can be tripped up. So if I right click on the file, go to properties, and decide I want to change the open width from, well, in this case, GNOME M player to VLC, say OK, it goes, error, please enter a valid username or numeric ID. I think, what, eh? Huh? What am I meant to do there? But if the file is on the computer, let's just say in your home folder, so let's paste it across there. I try the same thing, so I go to properties and I want to change it from GNOME M player to VLC. Go OK and it works absolutely fine. Double click on it. It still has some very strange behaviour here in PC Man FM. But anyway, that's enough about the file manager. Let's go and take a look at what they've done with the artwork in this distro. So I go to preferences and customise look and feel. And you can see some of the customizations that you can do to the desktop. They've got this dark panel and default no difference. Some of the icons in this theme do look quite nice and presentable. Which I've never really looked at what you can do on the panel preferences. So you can change it around a bit. The appearance. Ah, solid colour. Haha, <laughs> that looks different. Completely transparent. Now anyway, let's take a look at what we get pre-installed. It's under accessories. Yeah, just about the basic assortment of accessories you'd expect. Now I'm going to point out something that's not here. And that's the games. There's none of the lightweight penguin games in this distro. And the graphics. So we've got the fairly basic MT Paint for image editing, as well as a couple other programs. Under internet, Firefox for your web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Silfeed for the email client, and Transmission for the torrent client. Office, you've got lightweight Abbey Word and Numeric. Sound and video, so you have Audacious for the music player, Gnome M player for the video player, now VLC I installed, system tools, yeah, you've got a bit of an assortment here, the Lubuntu software center, I'll just open it up and come on to it in a moment, and yeah, preferences, there's a few things you can do there. So the Lubuntu software center is just a lightweight version of the Ubuntu software center. Yes, so you can install the Chromium web browser through there, so add apps to the basket, and then install packages. 
Now here's what I thought of Lubuntu 1404. Well, it's good that you got the long-term support release time now of three years. And it's good that PCMAN FM has been improved now with network file shares and files, but it can still be tripped up, as you saw in the video. But on the downside though, yeah, there's no arrow snap type effect that you'd see in Windows 7, as well as the more heavier weight distros of Unity, GNOME, KDE, etc. And the keyboard selector still shows the wrong language. And now I look back at what I said last year and that same comment was there, so we've still got the same bug. One other bug I did find was uh, with GNOME M Player. It just wouldn't work properly. Is that a VirtualBox issue? Maybe it is, because I just couldn't find anyone else saying the same thing. So overall, I've given this distro 85%. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.